my palette is uh, is really kind of founded on the sort of colours you get in the boatyard, the rusty reds and the, and the dark browns and the, the uh, Iron oxides are particularly my favourite colours, which are Mars colours. You know, I like using traditional materials. Um, in a way, uh, you know, a boat builder is building on tradition. My early work, my college work, was very, had big ideas, big political, social issues. I, I felt my earlier paintings were becoming too contrived and um, and I, I feel that my boat paintings now, they're addressing some of the same issues, but in much more, in a less contrived way. And, you know, they're work boats as opposed to yachts. They're, um, I'm celebrating the, the skill of the craftsman um, who made them. To me, that that is um, has a, a point of view about about the values of of the world. You know, they're they're working boats. They're drawn, painted as, as if viewed by the person that made them. And uh, you know, I'm celebrating the art of the boat builder and of the fisherman and you know, a whole history of uh, a vernacular boat, boats that have evolved, not been designed or, um, you know, they're perhaps in previous times not considered that important, but they're fast disappearing. Um, I'm partly recording them, but partly enjoying, enjoying the variations in shape and celebrating their beauty. Years, 25 years of the British Yeah. And yeah. they've all just been made redundant for the steel and, yeah. and the. Uh, no, once you get going on that. Though, the life of a boat builder has yeah. be become a lot closer to that of an artist now. When I first uh, was apprenticed, it was boat building was much more industrial process. You know, when I was in Southampton, you actually clocked in and it was much more an industrial kind of job. I was trying to address the social issues in my earlier paintings. Uh, one of my paintings was based on the, the working and solidarity in Poland and working on one about the Clyde shipbuilders um, of their working of the 1970s, which is when I started my apprenticeship. <laughs> young builder would want to build a boat that they would like for themselves and in a way a painter paints a painting uh, that they they love and they want to paint and um, uh, and then and then have to try and sell it um, so it, it it's it's kind of much m more the boat builders life is much more of a life of an artisan now. I like to have um, more than one painting on the go at a time. Um, you know, ideas flow from one painting to another and to the next. You know, occasionally I get a phone call from Boat Builder, so that's very nice. It feels like I'm part of what they're doing. It, it's not necessarily one boat leading on to another particular boat, it can be one colour leading on to another or a particular colour combination or a, an idea. I mean, the having painted the wrinkle brick from different angles, um, you know, I'm focusing in now much more on the sort of details, looking over the gunnel into the bow or the stern. And the work I'm doing at the moment are, are um, chroma boats, which are double enders and have a particularly nice uh, sort of double curve of the, the stern. 
I, I tend to get fascinated with a particular type of boat and I want to find out as much about, you know, uh, a cobble or a, a crabber or, you know, the, and, you know, that involves quite a bit of research, looking at the real boats, but also archive material, books, and, you know, there's, there's a great uh, dictionary of working boats, which is my favourite book. It has a lovely combination of having plans, photographs and uh, descriptions.